Um, Anthony Davis, uh, always, always puts up MVP numbers. Pero talaga bang is there no way, you know, the, the, in the same way na si Westbrook na hindi naman title contender necessarily ang uh, Thunder noon, but he got the MVP. Can Davis do that? For, uh, with the Pelicans? Well, he, he's probably going to have to average a triple-double for the whole season to do that. He's been putting up crazy numbers. Everyone knows his talent. But he's number two from the bottom of the league, of the West. So that really will just, you know, magaling ka nga, pero sa not winning team. If you want to be an MVP, you have to be in a winning team and you have to lead them winning. So that's really what's pushing him back. Uh, ikaw ba, Renan, are you of the same philosophy na I cannot consider you MVP, if your if your team is not in the running for a championship, yes, yes for me, uh, because uh, ako like the mga interviews natin way way back pa, dapat ng uh, mag MVP talaga yung number one team or number two, yung contenders talaga in the finals. So, kasi pag uh, nasa kolelat ka, if you're doing so well and dami mong numbers, eh parang wala rin naman nangyayari. You're not making everybody better, hindi mo na angat yung team mo. So, it's really important for me na parang you're a contender, you're a finals contender. So, in order for you to win the MVP. So, parang the day makita natin mag-MVP si Anthony Davis, uh, it's probably for a different team. Yes. Is that is that is that what you see, Jet? It might even be next season. So, we'll, we don't know where yeah. he's going to he's going to use up his free agency, but yeah. that will be for sure. I don't think he'll ever win an MVP in the Pelicans. So, dapat wag sa mag-Warriors. Pero kung mangyari, baka mag-Warriors. Para kasi hindi siya mag-MVP. Hindi siya mag-MVP doon. Para champion siya. Okay.